2006, this intercommunal organization comprising teachers, researchers, activists, people who had a special interest in the teaching and learning of history, decided that they needed a common space, a place in the buffer zone where they could meet. We managed to acquire this building. Legally it belongs to the association, but from today onwards it will be a home for many other NGOs who will be uh, uh, not only having an office here and working together with the association, but also it will be open to anyone who wants to have um, a festivity, an event, a party, a reading, a show. Tonight, as part of the celebrations for the opening of the Home for Cooperation, uh, we thought we would uh, bring out our core of drums for you to see. as a part of the integration of the House for Cooperation. We brought people from both communities together to show them uh, multicultural aspects of Nicosia. I'm here two days to explore the possibilities of uh, co collaborations because this is the historical side and we as geographers connect with the historians because historians talk about time and we geographers talk about place. They're very much interconnected so I think it's very useful that we find ways how we could meet and collaborate for education. Like all individuals, regardless of what cultures they come from, they're socially independent, and that refers to all of us. And understanding this can help lead to cooperation. Engage, um, put together a photo exhibition. Uh, showcasing the work of various NGOs around the island um, that we're in fact collaborating with uh, each other from both communities. Alongside that we had a lovely African drumming session in the morning, uh, participatory. It was lovely to see the children and the grown-ups playing together and we also had a few children's uh, painting activities. This will be a meeting point of different aspects of the Superior Society. It's centrally located, it's a neutral place uh, that provides space for everyone. Uh, one of the things that we tried to do in order to put forth this, this view was a lovely Superior Chair, the product of two individual chairs joined together. And we're here today because we have an exhibition called Border Stories, Yesterday's and Today's Borders. Cooperation is something really unique and excellent. It was needed for a long time, I think, in Nicosia. And I hope it's going to change the civil society. We organized the United Colors of Lefkosia, which was a city challenge. Let me just say that it's, it's an honor for the program to fund events such as this one. So uh, for us, uh, when I heard, when I saw the proposal, United Colors of Nicosia, I thought, oh my god, this is never going to work. <laughs> we should never submit this to the board. And then these people came and convinced us otherwise and, made, and turned this to reality. Because Hands Across the Divide has got a slot to make a presentation in regard to the organization. We aspire to live in a united country and to create a democratic society where there is equality, to be equal access to resources, and gender equality, our mission is to contribute towards a culture of peace and multiculturalism. Once again, we stress the urgency for an agreement on the Cyprus problem and a gender sensitive new constitution. We're very happy for the inauguration of the Home for Cooperation to be presenting our theatre play. It's an interactive video performance called uh, Stories of Loss. It's a collective process by the members of the group uh, based on stories of loss, both personal and communal. And we um, joined in by doing this uh, sculpture event, a yeah. bicommunal event for the youngsters. Yeah. We're working with the uh, youth very often on bicommunal events, and today we're constructing this uh, piece of art. Yeah, this is an excellent thing because we can meet here, we can organize talks, and it becomes a lie. We meet with uh, new friends, new, new people from other side. I think it's an amazing initiative. People put a great effort on that. I, I congratulate them. And I hope it's going to be a meeting point from 
for Cypriots from all communities. I think it's great. And I think they're so together, they've really pulled this off magnificently. I think it's a really great idea. Look forward to coming here often. We want to bring people together so they exchange their ideas and then they understand each other. You can actually turn your dream into reality by having the support of many, many people who are as crazy as you are. It is unique, something that no civil society organization has done. There's something tangible now and we are very proud. Make the first step in order to transform what is currently known as the buffer zone into a zone of cooperation.